Well, tomorrow, students in Jacksboro, 60 miles northwest of Fort Worth, will return to class a week after an EF3 tornado hit the small city. The high school remains damaged, but has been declared safe for students to come back. The elementary school, though, is still too dangerous, so those students will be split up among the middle school campus and churches that are now becoming makeshift schools. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager spoke with some of those working to get the classrooms ready to go. Peyton. Heather, there is still major construction here at Jacksboro Elementary, pulling up carpets, new sheetrock, and temporary roofing, and it's been a huge task for Jacksboro ISD to start school once again for seeing teachers and students to adjust. Half of the books got destroyed in our library, and I just had mine. Nine-year-old Chloe Wells has her backpack by the front door for school Tuesday morning. I'm nervous for her to go back to school. Her mom, Brittany Wells, is still processing the panic from last week's tornado in Jacksboro. The EF3 twister touched down on the elementary school. The Jacksboro tornado, the strongest tornado during last week's outbreak across the state. I was like sort of by um, a door and I felt wind coming. Chloe and 500 other kids huddled in the hallway. No one was injured, but the elementary building was damaged. One week later, Jacksboro ISD is now welcoming back its students, but the first day back will look different. Literally set up the classrooms today. <laughs> so okay, okay. for tomorrow. Okay. Principal Michael Qualls and his teachers spent Monday turning the town's First Baptist Church into a makeshift elementary school. School is not a building. School is what happens in it. Tuesday morning, pre-K through fifth grade students will be scattered at First Baptist, Jacksboro Parish, Fort Richardson Masonic Lodge, and Jacksboro Middle School. Teachers are sharing classrooms and students will eat lunch in shifts. My number one priority for our kids right now is to get them back to what normalcy we can provide them. Over at the high school, 300 students will also start school Tuesday. Jacksboro High deemed safe for students while the gymnasium reconstruction. Why did God choose me to, you know, be in that situation at that time? I don't know. Surveillance video shows Qualls running down the hallway the moment the lights go out, barely making it to safety before the walls begin to collapse. His priority, his students and staff and parents piling inside from waiting in the pickup line. And the courage that they showed and they were praying for each other. They were comforting each other, and I just want them to know how proud I am of them as their principal. I have my folder. Meanwhile, for Chloe, in a few hours, she will see her classmates for the first time in a week. The same ones she held during the few minutes of fear. It's just amazing, though, how kids were praying and their parents and nobody was even around. Yep. Structure engineers are still surveying the damage here at Jacksboro Elementary, but some grade levels could come back here to the school in certain parts as early as next week, but for other grade levels could be up to several weeks.